So today what we're going to be looking at is compiling the C++ SDK and using the Sculpt Deformer to create this amazing little twisting nose animation. And type in Visual Studio 2013. That's the version you'll need to develop for R17 and R18 of Cinema 4D. You'll find this link here, Community Edition. You need to click on that, take you to Microsoft website. Under Download, you need to go to myvisualstudio.com scroll down a bit to find the older version because the current version here or the older version first is 2015 we want 2013 and then you click download and it's going to take you to a page on Microsoft where you have to sign up and download the file and then you'll have to install it but just make sure that when you're installing it you're installing Visual Studio Community 2013 edition once that's installed just come over to your version of Cinema 4D and you want to come into the plugins folder and in the plugins folder you want to go into Cinema 4D SDK and then you want to find this Cinema 4D SDK.SLM file if you double click that it'll launch Visual Studio 2013 and load up the plugin so here's the plugin here the Cinema 4D SDK that's what we're going to be building today now the first thing you want to do actually is come up to here under debug you want to click on this and change it to release so what that means is it's going to make a release version of the plugin and the release version is the final version which is a lot faster the debug version is just for creating the plugin you don't need to worry about that today we're just going to be getting the release version so we can build this and actually see the plugin working so now you just want to right click on here and just click build and it's going to go through and it's going to build the plugin for you First, it's going to build the Cinema 4D framework, which is used by the plugin. This contains just a whole lot of stuff under here. And then you've got the SDK itself, which is a whole lot of example plugins for you to use. The ones we're going to look at today are in the sculpting folder here. And we'll look at a couple of these. So once that's built, you'll see down here that Build 2 succeeded. It means it successfully built two things. One is this framework and the other is the SDK. So now we're kind of done with Visual Studio here and we can actually just come over to our folder again and have a look in here and we'll see that it's got the Cinema 4D SDK.CDL file. That means it's compiled properly and that's the final file that uh, contains all the code for the plugin. So what we need to do now is just run Cinema 4D. So now that your plugin's built, you just come into Cinema 4D and under Plugins, Cinema 4D SDK, you're going to see all the plugins that just got built. The one we're going to look at first is this Sculpt Deformer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sphere, give it about 500 segments. And it gives it a lot of detail just to work with for the sculpting tool. And under Plugins, Cinema 4D SDK, I'm going to choose this Sculpt Deformer and put it under the sphere. And then we'll see the uh, sculpting dabs being applied there. And I'm going to add a stamp to it. I'm going to use the 40 published content view, but again, you can use any texture that you have. Under sculpting, I'm going to select. Let me try something different. I'll use a nose texture. And we just need to enable it. And we're going to see these noses on the surface of the model there. And now I'm going to animate these. So let's go to the first frame. I'm going to animate zero stamps. About 30. I'm going to add 50 noses to my model. And then I'm going to change the rotation. And I'm also going to change the radius. And then I'm going to come up to here. Just rotate them a bit. and radius down a little bit and then we'll pull the radius back up and then at 90 we'll do the full rotation okay so now we've got noses being added and rotated on our model this is all controlled via the plugin